Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the J Squad. Soon to be a different name. So, as of the video yesterday, I am contemplating many different things. And I'm hoping that everybody will stand behind me. Um, this channel is growing, like I've said numerous times. We're almost to 200 subscribers. And I just want to thank everybody for subscribing and watching. Contemplating changing the channel name. I'm like 99% sure I'm gonna change the channel name. Um, Pokemon just, it has the the viewers to watch the channel, but on the other side, it's not a channel that you would make a lot of money on, on YouTube. So buying and selling and business stuff like that, business is like higher up. A lot of people watch flipping stuff. They love to see people buy something, fix it and flip it or buy something and flip it to make money, make a profit. And they want to learn how to do that. And that's that's where I'm at right now. I watch Harry Tornado and I, I've been watching him a lot because he Josh is his name. He seems like a very nice guy and I've been learning so much from him. And if you ever watches my videos, shout out to you, Harry Tornado. Um, you've really inspired me like truly inspired me to do better with my life and want to do more and I was watching a video last night where he breaks down um, how much he made on his different platforms basically like selling in the public selling online selling on eBay and then how much his taxes and everything sales fees eBay has a very high sales um, percentage I should say if you sell something for like $500 they're taking like two maybe not two but a lot they take a lot of money from you so it's very hard to make money on higher dollar items when you have an eBay store um, you pay for it every month you pay like $60 a month for it so yeah you get benefits though because they're lowering your fees they're including different things they help you out um, but we're gonna get inside and get back. I, I just had to go to the post office. I dropped Jesse off. I faxed something. Um, I just had some stuff I had to take care of this morning. I'm doing what I have to do in my personal life first because that's what keeps me going every week. Um, business, eBay, that stuff right now is a side thing. Um, September is right around the corner. I have one month left basically and I gotta figure something out because yeah, a lot of people know I'm on unemployment and New York State gives extra for unemployment at the moment, but it ends in September. So we need to figure some things out. I need to get back into a reality, not just a bubble of sitting home every day playing with Pokemon cards, some people might think. That's not what my life is about at all. I do not sit home and play with Pokemon cards. Every day I'm sitting wondering what I could do to keep going, what I could do to make money. How can I, how can I put money in my bank account that's gonna stay there should I create a new bank account I'm gonna just break it down for you plain and simple I was using a rush card when I first started selling Pokemon cards every single profit went to the rush card it's a, like a bank account it's like one of the other 50 prepaid debit cards that are out there but you can either pay like seven dollars a month or a dollar every time you withdraw money or spend money so I had it set that I was pay as you go which is a dollar every time you use the card because I wasn't using it I was having eBay deposit my money into my rush card and I was leaving it and then while I was working I had my bank account that I would put my paychecks in so I was keeping my business and personal life separate a few months ago I took all the money off of the rush card and I had everything linked to my eBay to my bank account from eBay to my bank account and I feel like that was my downfall I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you I have lost so much more money now that it's in my bank account because it's my bank account it's my personal use I feel like oh this is my money I can spend it so there's been times that I'll just recklessly spend money and I'm not putting anything back into my bank account but at least when I was doing with eBay the money was going to a separate card and I would leave that separate card home so only ever when I wanted to go out and buy stuff would I buy stuff with that rush card you know what I mean like I would go to the store and I would like for example I went to a Rite Aid and they had Pokemon cards and I bought $110 worth of Pokemon cards I had that $110 on that card for business to sell that stuff and what I did is I turned around and I sold it 
and it went right back on that card. So my $100 replenished, and I was basically going around spending the money that was on that card and replenishing it with the sales that I would sell. So whatever profits I would make were going on that card. So everything I sold was going on the card. Everything in my personal life was on another card. I had a business and pleasure separate. Now, it's so hard when you go out to a store and you have money in your bank account and you say, oh, look, there's uh, two dub wall boxes. Let me spend $40 on these two dub wall boxes. And next thing you know, you're $40 short out of your bank account. You just open those two boxes up. You're not getting nothing back. That was your personal money. You spent it on a personal product. You lost your $40. We need to start going over business because that's what I've been about since I was younger. Buying, selling, flipping, trading. That's who I am. And while we're standing right here and the store is giving off so much light, um, I just wanted to go over something with you real quick. The coloring, sorry, it's a little darker in here. Um, yesterday, my aunt came, Jesse's aunt too, whatever. Um, a friend of hers had some Beanie Babies. I just want to talk to you about this because this is heavily a big mistake for people when they buy Beanie Babies. A heavy mistake. She gave us, this lady gave us this whole tin of Beanie Babies. Yes, they are collectibles. There's birthday ones. There's this whole tote. There was even one I put, I put the blue one in here, but these are 2,000 Beanie Bears. There's more. There's some over here. Um, never, ever, ever buy Beanie Babies to try to make money. Let me just show you. This is Jesse's collection. I bought this cabinet for Jesse. It's just a glass door. We replaced the lock. And we filled it up with her Beanie Boos. These are Beanie Boos. These are animals created to look like Beanie Babies. Um, there are some Beanie Babies down there I have in the back. Um... Beanie Babies are one of the worst things to try to make money on. I learned yesterday that I have a whole tote of collectible Beanie Babies. Collectible meaning you can't find them anywhere. Your 2000 um, birthday ones, Olympic ones, uh, FIFA soccer ones. Nobody wants them. Heads up. Nobody wants to buy Beanie Babies. I'm not trying to be a douche, Baba Kadoosh. I'm just trying to be real. Nobody wants to buy Beanie Babies. Well, I just saw the FedEx guy come up the driveway, so. Two boxes from the Pokemon Center. I was only expecting one. Oh, I can't tell you, I cannot wait for this desk to get moved into my room. Should be here tomorrow. I'll be able to open up boxes on the desk instead of the bed. So we're improving. Let's pop these open. I know you guys, I like to show you what I'm opening right as soon as I open it. This looks like a huge box for nothing. Oh. Ah. You guys are going to like these. Look at these bad boys. These are from the Pokemon Center. These are 25th anniversary black hats. I don't know why I bought two. Do not ask me why I bought two. Uh, these are different than I thought they were going to be. I'll still wear it. It feels very heavy. I'm not going to lie. It feels very nice leather strap. Look at the inside. Look at the detail that they went into making this hat. They put Pokemon in the embroidery. That is crazy. These are 25th anniversary Pokemon hats. Which I did not know. It's like wool. These are going to be extremely hot. I'm going to leave these in the box for right now. I have no idea why I ordered two. Like I said, I just had a feeling they were going to sell out. But they didn't. This, what do we have in here? Battle styles. Oh, I almost got excited for a second. Chilling rain. And chilling rain. Now, I love doing this. Popping this plastic. 
I've been getting rid of all the boxes. So I was going to start collecting these. And then I said, nah, you know what? This actually will be a good opening for today. I was going to start... I, sorry. I just realized that they used Eevee for battles. So that was and Chilling Rain. And they're probably going to use Eevee for Evolving Skies. So that is something to keep now that I think about it. Maybe we'll open the Snorlax and uh, Sonoa pack again. Just to get four packs. I don't know what we're going to do today. They could have just put the blisters on the bottom and the hats on top in this box. And they would have saved a whole giant box. So I was just looking at this order. I actually didn't even order these black hats. I ordered two of these. Well, I packaged the hats back up. They're going back. But when I went out around the porch, there was another box. So let's see what's in this one. Filters that I actually ordered for my father. So I had ordered a build and battle box, the full box of all 10 build and battle decks. And I like to resell things. So when I order something, I don't like that I have to wait. People, I don't understand if I ordered something on July 18th, which was last, not this past Sunday, the previous Sunday. Like, why am I still waiting to receive something? Hey, come on, your money got sent to you, it's in your account, and you're gonna make somebody wait two weeks? So you didn't ship it until the 26th, and then 10 to 12 days after that, it's almost over three weeks. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Back at it with another video. Today, we got some chilling rain packs in the mail. I'm gonna open up both of these. I was gonna save them, but I don't... It's either open these or open the booster box, and I would like to save the booster box for another video or just another case in general. Um, so we're gonna start with the, the Sleepy Sleepy Snorlax, but he woke up and he's ready to slam, pound, pump, pow. So, as I said earlier, I will be um, changing this channel very shortly. I really, I really need to get into the resale side of things, and that's what I started a YouTube channel for. I didn't necessarily start for Pokemon, you know, Kwaza Coin. Um, I started because I don't know why I really started. I wanted to make a YouTube video, and I thought, why not start with Pokemon? Pokemon is popular at the moment. It's fun. It's entertaining. People love it. I don't know how long Pokemon's gonna actually stay afloat. Um, the market seems to be going up and down. Which, speaking of the market, um, I will be posting my four Charizard cards on eBay. Um, I will let you guys know first off which uh, when that's gonna be. Um, if it's not today, I don't know. That Evolutions Charizard, I was going to get graded, but now that I think about it, I don't think I'm going to get it graded. It's kind of pointless to get the Evolutions Charizard graded, or maybe I'll get them all graded, and I guess, yeah, you know what? I'll get them graded, and then I'm going to sell them, because they're definitely worth getting graded. Let's start this pack opening, but I will let you guys know, first and foremost, if anybody's interested in buying those cards. Um... I need to start getting rid of some higher value items because, let's just face it, I got too much Pokemon stuff. Scolipede followed by a Weezing. Weezing haunts me in my dreams. Now, there was a thing with Vivid Voltage that said, a lot of people thought this, that when you bought a Vivid Voltage box, um, not box, one of these three packs, that you basically were guaranteed to get a V card or higher in these three packs. Let's find out if that's true for uh, Chilling Rain. We got Porygon, Heracross, Lightning Energy, Peonia, Peonia, Whirlpeed, I don't know how to say that. Clara, Reverse Hollow, followed by a Golurk. It's not looking too good. We got two non hollows. Can this be the pack? 
and it looks like it is. Two, three, four. I've been doing this because when you open the pack, you see the first card. So we got a Sneasel, a Snover, a Blitzel, a Ghastly, a Fire with Reboot, Agatha, Fog Crystal. We got a Cresselia Reverse Rare, which is always a good sign, followed by Blissey. Let's go. We'll take a Blissey. I like that card, actually. I have the alternate art Blissey, and I love it. I, um, it's a cool card. I've heard that it is kind of a fan favorite. Got that Requaza coin again. Ooh, we got our EV promo. Wow, that's got a lot going on. There's like this crazy little... I don't know if I can capture it. Back here, there's a crazy little thing. I can see it not in the camera. There's a lot going on in this card. I'm going to keep that card because we are giving away um, some cards with code cards at 200 subscribers. I told you there's going to be a bunch of stuff that we're giving away. And uh, I just want to thank you guys. You guys. Please spread the word. I am going to be changing the channel name. Um, on, I'm, I'm about 80% with uh, J&J Flips. Joe and Jesse Flip stuff, basically. Cub Fu, Hatiana, Sable, Bound Sweet, Lightning Energy, Caitlyn, Kakuna Matata, Path to the Peak, Drizzle Reverse, followed by a Serena. Um... I don't know. I, I thought I was going to change the name the other day, and I decided against it, but I need to get a bigger f following, I think. And to do that, Pokemon... People don't just want to see, oh, Joey's Poke Shop. This guy sells Pokemon cards. No. I want it to be a resale. I'll make a playlist of resale videos. I'll make a Pokemon playlist. Maybe we'll just create a whole new channel, and we'll do Pokemon videos twice a week. And then we'll do resale videos twice a week so that way i'm getting through to everybody weedle reverse followed by a malmar non-hollow again let's see last pack are we wow wow three green code cards hmm i guess that's not true with uh chilling rain here heracross clogopus Grookey, Sneasel, Weedle, Energy, Echo Horn, Piercing Scroll, Avery, a Laron Reverse, and a Glade. Well, it just looks like we got, uh, and I also forgot, I pulled out all the clear sleeves, but I forgot, um, Chilling Rain, we do, we use the matte back sleeves, uh, more well, the glossy, but we use the, these type of sleeves, you know what I'm saying. Now we gotta go try to figure out which cards, which none of these, because I already have all these. I think I'm gonna start making sets and selling them. Like, um, all my extra cards, putting them in nine sleeve binders. The three ring nine sleeve binder, and, um, just selling them, like Chilling Rain, Champion's Path, Sword and Shield. Oh, you know what I mean? You get the picture. But anyway, today's poll, Blissey, Full Art. We got some uh, non-hollow rares, which is kind of crazy that we got all these non-hollow rares. And we got a bunch of reverse hollows. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. I will let you guys know first and foremost when the Charizard auction is going to start. We got base set Charizard, base set 2 Charizard, legendary collection Charizard, and evolutions Charizard. The only Charizard I want to add to that collection is the Stormfront Secret Rare Charizard. It's the same artwork but on a different card. So I would like to have that in my collection before I sell them. So as always, thank you for watching. Peace out.